Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a serial communication between Arduino and a NetBeans. So these videos are very precious. Okay, <clears throat> first thing, go to your Arduino ID. Yeah, I probably open it, and there's some codes for Arduino ID to make a communicate with Arduino ports. And you can see LED aids, white setup, pin modes, LED output, serial load. So it's, I know you guys can understand this code it's so simple and this is basically it will make our LED off and on states for one second it will be off on then second second it will be off and it keeps on loop will be there okay just upload it here okay and it will upload to the Arduino boards so I'm using Arduino GNU so if you're using something Arduino Nano then all you have to change the former tools you will see are boards like you are using Arduino Yons and Arduino Gen. I'm using this one. If you are using Arduino Nano and anything, most people use little pads for some projects. I don't know. Okay, fine. Next thing is um, okay. I forgot to tell you the most important thing is uh, to make a communicate between the Arduino and the NetBeans. You have to download the RxTX com driver. So here I have already downloaded the rxtx file here it is i will show you the link and you download based on your wins i am i am using a windows 64 and you have to extract click on extract here so i have already done it so here is, here is my extract file here file and you have to copy this all okay just okay leave it first i will go for a job and make a project open the netbins make a new project Java applications next and name call I will make a okay sorry I will make a uh, I will make a hell okay it's here. project name is hell okay now basically the default the netbins project will be stored in the go to the computer file in the windows sees and go to the users and the this name will be based on what you are giving up netbeans name here i have a tangent huh? and go to the documents and next netbeans project netbeans project okay here's netbeans project and netbeans projects right now i have created a project name called health and basically you have to make two new folders First, you just name it LAB library folder, and second, you make it new folders doc doc documents. Okay, now one thing you have to do: Control Alt, copy it, and paste it in library folders. Again, you have to control this ball, cut it. Ctrl X and paste it to the documents. Okay. Next step, go again to the your uh, mm, what do we call? <clears throat> go to the your zip file. Get your zip file. Ctrl C and sorry, zip file into the your documents paste it here okay now it's almost done you make a hell documents and now you have to make a library folders go to the tools and libraries make a new libraries name it you because it's easy to find okay and you have to give a path okay class path so this class path based on where you have right now my project is in a Windows this and it is in a user and uh, documents netbin project and uh, help that is here and library just rxts com jar this is jar file add this jar file and don't don't do anything for source and java docs add a zip folder go back 
here you have stored here the folders at this one mm, something saying okay done okay so here in library folder you have jdk okay add a library just now you have made a li like library you just add it and again you have to add a jar folder and the jar folder is hmm, what else i will show you basically now right now i have you know my desktop okay you know new folder too see here i'm done okay done now next step okay i'm going i'm not going to waste my time on writing these codes i'll just copy paste it come to c and i'll give you in a description i will show you all your codes here okay now i have to change few things here help and again here okay help and the same thing Here, sorry <clears throat> and sometimes you will get error here follow it says the extension is 1.4 something if you see any red lights here just right click it and launch click a launch make extension greater than 1.4 or 1 like 115 click it and the compiler will fix this problem you don't have to worry okay it's done now I will test this Control shift, controls, I mean, control F6. Okay, okay, um, wait, I have to change something to make it clear. Output here, I will make a message the state of LED is. Based on input line, it will show. Okay, run it. So you see, based on LED, it will show high, low, off, on, off, on. It just keeps on going on. So this is how you get a uh, data from Arduino boards. And if you know the connection, how to give a connection, you can do a big projects, and you can comment the Arduino the way you want. Okay, thank you guys. And give up. Okay, thank you.